An Introduction to Thomas Buick and His Great Works Why is Thomas Buick famous? Well, firstly, it is because of his art, in particular wood engraving and watercolours. Thomas Buick is arguably the most influential artist ever to come from the north of England. He was one of the greatest anecdotal artists ever. Thomas Buick was principally a wood engraver, although a very gifted drawer and watercolour artist. He was nationally preeminent as an illustrator. John Piper said of him that he registered what he saw with precision. He had that rarest of qualities, normal, unhampered, unclouded vision. Secondly, he was internationally acclaimed for his contribution to natural history. The observational study of animals and plants presented in popular form. Buick, through his great works, Quadrupeds and British Birds, galvanised this interest into a passion. In 1790, the general history of quadrupeds was published and printed by Solomon Hodgson, editor of the Newcastle Chronicle. Buick had completed 200 woodcuts of animals. His partner Bealby provided the text, often attributing human qualities to the animals, for example, loyalty, dignity, pride and determination. Quadrupeds proved to be very successful, published in seven editions, totalling some 14,000 copies. In 1797, the first volume of History of British Birds, Land Birds, was published to great acclaim after six years' work and with the help of numerous correspondents who contributed both observations and specimens. Apart from the excellence of the principal figures, the numerous tailpiece vignettes that enlivened every spare space in the book came in for special notice. Of these tailpieces, Buick was later to remark, When I first undertook my labours in natural history, my strongest motive was to lead the minds of youth to the study of that delightful pursuit. I illustrated them with all the fidelity and animation I was able to impart to mere woodcuts without colour. And as instruction is of little avail without constant cheerfulness and occasional amusement, I interspersed the more serious studies with tailpieces of gaiety and humour. Yet even in these, seldom without an endeavour to illustrate some truth or point or some moral. When the last of the eight editions of Buick's lifetime had been published, more than 600 blocks had been engraved for the two volumes of The Birds. The success of the book stimulated a torrent of letters from amateurs of natural history. Any comparison of Buick's work with that of his predecessors makes clear how original it appeared at the time. The opening of Charlotte Bronte's novel, Jane Eyre, starts with Jane at Gateshead Hall clutching Buick, Buick's birds. Each picture told a story, mysterious often to my undeveloped understanding and imperfect feelings, yet ever profoundly interesting. With Buick on my knee, I was then happy. <laughs>